Hello, and welcome to the wonderful world of the Gloobs. My name is Felicity Gloob, daughter of the famous Patronella Gloob, or Mother Gloob as we call her. You will hear more about her in time. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what a Gloob is. Well, Gloobs are very similar to what humans would call balls of um, cotton wool and we're inclined to blow about on a windy day. Oh, sorry. As you can probably see, we have large feet and noses. We pride ourselves on these as sort of uh, status symbols. Our hands are also special. You rarely see them unless we're using them for something sensible. Most of the time they're hiding in our fur where we can keep them warm, like our ears which, though they are small, work extremely well. Maybe even better than your human ears. You will come to realise that not all gloobs are like what I just described, but more about that later. Currently, we live on a tip. This is where humans would get rid of unwanted rubbish. Now, for our safety and yours, I will not tell you which tip. They can be very dangerous for both of us. We never used to live there. Before the Great Global War, we lived quite happily in a patch of rhubarb. But we had to evacuate, and we've been here ever since. Now, before our first story, I'd best tell you that glooms come in all sorts of colours. Green, red, blue and yellow. It doesn't really matter to us. A gloob is a gloob. But at one point in our long history, it most certainly did matter. <laughs>